Okay, so let's go over some of the basic info in the live dashboard. First of all, you've got your title. This is going to be consistent each time that you do a live stream. So if I live stream today, right now, it's going to say Kyle's iPhone Air Server live stream because that's what I was doing on my last live stream. So before you start your live stream, what you want to do is put in a custom title. So whatever you're about to stream, make sure the title is custom or else it's going to revert back to your previous live stream, which could be something completely different. Description, very straightforward. This is uh, the same thing as you get on any YouTube video. It's going to be in the same spot underneath your live stream in the description. Put things like your follow, uh, follow me on social media, put things like your lead magnet, try to capture an email address. You know, use that real estate because it is very valuable. Schedule the next stream. If you want to get into scheduling, you can set up some streams and your subscribers will say, okay, I know he's got a live streaming and coming up on Friday at 9 p.m. Uh, I could book out a, a bit of time to make sure I'm there to watch it. Category, pick whatever category you're using. The last one I was using was gaming and put the game title in if you are doing gaming because that will help you uh, be able to f um, get found by various fans and viewers of that game who are just basically browsing YouTube looking to watch somebody game. Privacy, obviously you're gonna to wanna to set it to public. Encoder setup, the stream name key, I won't hit reveal obviously is a very confidential info. Never let anyone see your stream key. You're gonna to need to take this stream key and put it into the OBS settings in order to stream to YouTube live. I'll show you how to do that in a further video. It's very simple, so no worries. And that's it for the basic info. In the next video, I'm gonna go over some of the stream options that we have.